How's it going, everyone? And welcome to a relaxing Let's Play of Dust in Elysian Tale. Now, I've mentioned this game before. Uh, not often, but I did mention I want to start doing some more normal Let's Plays. So, this one's going to be the first one that, uh, at least that I consider to be a real Let's Play as opposed to the other stuff. This is one of my favorite games. You're going to see why, because it has a great soundtrack, amazing art, the combat is probably the most satisfying ever, and the story is amazing. Just It's just it's just great in every way. So, let's get started. I technically have a file. This is a, I used to play it on Xbox, so my PC file, I don't have a complete one. But obviously we're going to start brand new. I'm thinking they got some pretty tough difficulties. Normal, I don't know if it's really all that tough. Uh, I mean, I could I could do it on tough, but at the same time, that might make it a bit more grindy, and I don't want to see you guys do that. But normal's normal's pretty good. I'd be in normal form. Our world has fallen to fail. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this our most desperate hour that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance. The soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victory, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a seeding child. No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small for a guardian knight? Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects a sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I kind of wish somebody told me this was part of the job description, or maybe they did. You know, they didn't really mention. <laughs> Isn't that happened to me? I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was... Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh, call yourself Bridget. His name is Dust. And he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Bridget, then. That's me. And you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. So, what is this? and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the family. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Bridget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, I... Alright, alright, you win. But don't think I'm losing sight of your family. I'm coming with you, but, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, 
whatever it is they're doing. What exactly am I doing, Nara? The Earth does you speak lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. All right. So, uh, obviously I don't plan on talking during the cutscenes. I know some of those players do that, but it's not really my style. This is a, a very Castlevania style game, so there's going to be a lot of hidden pathways, a lot of backtracking once new abilities, you know, you get more of them, then you're going to want to revisit some old areas. But, uh, yeah, see, this game is just absolutely beautiful. I remember the first time I played it and saw that opening cutscene, I thought it was a little cheesy. But, huh, trust me, if you have any doubts, let me rest, rest you assured. This is going to be a good time. Now, it has been a while since I've played, so I'm going to be kind of checking for secrets here and there that may not may not be there. Mysterious wall chicken. Ah, yes, the inventory screen. On the screen, you can manage equipment and items. If your health is low, press left bumper. Cool. So, we got our, got our wall chicken. Found embedded in a wall, this fully cooked and seasoned chicken comes from unknown origins. At least we get 80 health from it. I don't care where it comes from. It's a pretty good deal. Or she needs something right down here. There's a way to get down here. I just forget how. From here you can view explore areas with the current region. You can also get a sense of any treasure within the immediate vicinity. Alright. Oh, hey. That would, uh, that would do it. Dash acquired. Dash with left or right trigger. Or just the right... Uh, yeah, joystick. And it uses up energy. Fine by me. There it is. Down and A. Now, I played a lot of Shovel Knight recently, so it's kind of my instinct right now to just go up to any random wall and just start slashing away at it to see if there's a secret uncovered. Because that's how a lot of Shovel Knight works. But this one actually has a good reason for that. Because, well, there is a secret down here. Good to know that uh, the one thing that stops the sword is enchanted chests. Imagine if our enemies had all just worn armor built of such material. But luckily we have the key. The unlocking mechanic in this game is pretty fun. Because uh, around when I started playing this, I was pretty much knee deep into Skyrim. And it just it felt a lot better and using a key in that game. So much better. Was I... I came from up here, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Off we go. And no, you can't detect the deer. Why would you want to? But I know someone's asking. Oh, hey. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Nick, the present! You're coming! Gotta love that fourth ball break. It's 
good stuff. Well, I'm mashing the buttons. I guess, I guess you could say her tactic worked out pretty well. Why would I need fuel fruit when I have mysterious wall chicken? Let's see. A small, juicy fruit does little for hunger. I'm gonna need those? Right. Load of nut. Oh wait, is it load of nut or a lot of nut? That's a lot of nuts. Right. This heavy nut is considered to be rare, tasty, or is considered to be a rare, tasty delicacy. Not much of a delicacy, but it only restores 40 health. I'm gonna stick to that wall chicken. All right, so. As I wanted to say during the cutscenes, like, man, I kind of wish I had a sword that came with teaching me sweet abilities. It'd be the best sword ever. It'd be like uh, stuff you see in the Matrix where they just load it right up into your mind. Yeah, saving's usually a good idea. Alright, let's take them on. It's one heck of a combo. Press X a whole bunch of times. I can, I can get behind this idea. Well, there's a guy behind me, too. Alright, what else you guys got? Oop. Yeah, get out of here. Give me all your money. Yeah, I mean, there are a bunch of monsters. They're not going to be able to spin out anything. Well, let's just give it to me, right? There we go. I'm getting to learn some, some more combos. That uh, aren't working as well as I would like. See the Y button, as great as it is, pretty soon we don't have much use for it because we get some cool stuff later that I won't I won't spoil yet. Yeah. My chain was broken. Get out of here, I worked hard on the chain. Get out of here, you. I have none of this. Oh, my combo. Oh, probably should have dashed out of the way. I saw him coming a mile away. It's fine, though. Yeah. Did drop money? Nope, I already got it. Money is definitely a commodity you burn through quite a lot in this game. I guess you get it a lot sooner than you thought. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the dust storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce a motion you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourself as I demonstrate. Oop, <laughs> I thought I had to press B. That was uh very pretty. Oh, well maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The dust storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Wow! Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. 
Yes, Dux. Between your combos and Fidget's own power, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right. I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the cloud menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Oop, one sec. There we go. So I had to clear my throat. All right, fools. Beware of the dust storm. Can't handle this. This is the stuff I'm talking about. This is what separates the combat from like anything else I've ever played. It's just the ability to do this. Because the nice thing is you can also throw out tons of these. Like, there's three at once. It's just going to go crazy on people. My chain's already at 264. Can't stop, won't stop, as uh, some would say. Let's see how much higher we can go. I think the highest I've ever gotten was some crazy thing like a 10,000 hit combo one time. Probably not going to see that anytime soon. But, we might get close to a thousand. Let that sweet bonus experience come to me. Let's go make sure we collect all of our loot. Got a little bit carried away there. Alright, I think that's everything. Alrighty. At least the safe points are plenty this early on. Technically it does auto save when you run over that thing. But I like to I like to be sure. Oh hey. One, two, three. See, now that I have the dust storm, it's kind of hard to use the, the Y button combos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go nuts. I think that's how uh, that's how it's supposed to be done anyway. I do find it really funny that uh, you can send the enemies way up into the air, and eventually they come back down. It's just like, oh yeah, I was fighting you. I forgot all about that. I already killed so many of your friends. Now, as enjoyable as it is right now, eventually there will be things that face that you know you can't just knock around. Hey, you just wobbled off. Is that what I did? Feels good, great even. As it should, Dust. You have acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen of the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. All right, guys. Um, I think we're going to call it a video for now. I know we didn't really get too far, but I figured about 20 minutes an episode is about a, about a good time to stop. So, we'll carry on later. So, I hope you really enjoyed this first episode, and we'll see you around for the next one. Later.